All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakhakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Blessings to the hopeful elect teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And what I have here uh, on the screen is pretty much an interview between a Jake woman, all right, Eve, and uh, basically a homosexual man. And uh, basically, it just goes to show. <clears throat> the state in which this, you know, this world is heading and, you know, headed by the so-called white man, which is the Edomites, according to the Bible. All right. Which are predominantly the white race. And um, I would have you know that Esau's agenda, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, it will, it will you know, it will seem as though <clears throat> it's flourishing to a certain extent. All right, because remember that the, the, the Lord said he's long suffering. All right. But he also said that, you know, for the elect's sake, these days have to be shortened, lest there be no flesh left to be saved. You got this 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 devil in in rulership over the face of the earth that's polluting the earth. Right. With his wine, his philosophies, pushing his ways of life on, upon people, pedophilia, homosexuality, LGBT, GMO foods, uh, chemtrails. And the list goes on and on. And on. And if you don't believe that we're living in the times at the end, then you're sadly mistaken. I'm about to play you this clip, all right? And I'm gonna jump around to certain parts, which I think were edifying, uh, just so that you can understand and hear for yourselves exactly the mind frame, or the or the uh, how can I say the the vibration that they're trying to push out upon people throughout the world in these last days, and how they're actually trying to come against the Bible. Why did they choose? Um, a quote unquote Bible believer and start attacking her on this live show. Why did they do that? Because what they're trying to do is basically demonize what the Bible teaches. I thought this was supposed to be a God fearing country. All right. I thought it was, you know, in America, I thought they're saying God we trust. Okay. When they bring you to the judicial law system, they have you swear on the Bible, right? Or whatever book that you believe in. Well, this is supposed to be a God fearing country. Okay. So what you got to understand is. You know, I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And yes, we will. All right. And we're talking about the words. Uh, uh, basically, being a Hebrew Israelite is about believing in the words that are written in the scriptures through in and throughout, man. It ain't about picking and choosing what you want to pass. It ain't about, pick, you know, subscribing to the ways of the devil. All right. And his warped ways of how he sees life. This is not the way of the righteous. This is the way of the wicked. And we're living in a wicked society. And if you don't believe me. Just listen to what these people have to say right here. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit, man. His understanding and, and learning about relationships and learning about life, is that not part of the teaching process that kids could go through? Of course it is, but there's many things that, you know, in life that you could also say that they need to learn about. Like what? Like, you know, the dangers... Which Mer they do learn about school, don't they? Yeah. Not to a greater depth, and also to do with different the opinions. The dangers of what? Sorry. So the dangers of, of life, so like what I was saying about murders and rapists and, and, and everything in life. Mm. I think Which the Bible also has laws on murderers and rapists also, all right? So this is what I'm saying, man. Like This, this world, right, is basically headed by the so-called white man, and he, cast, he takes the book or he casts the words of the Most High behind him. Right, yet he takes it upon himself. Okay, and this is what people don't seem to understand. There's a law in the scriptures to deal with every situation under the sun. All right, and to navigate your uh, way through life when you uh, are confronted with such ordeals, man, and how you deal with it. There's a righteous way to go about doing things. Okay, but the scriptures speak about them, them that turn uh, uh, the word, uh, uh, turn things upside down. You know, Esau has turned everything upside down. Okay. And the decrees that are righteous in the scriptures, he's he's basically turned them upside down and he doesn't even have anything to do with them anymore. OK, and this is why we're living in such a warped society where everyone is in that do as thou wilt vibration. All right. That Luciferian, uh, 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 if you will, uh, Alistair Crowley type vibration. All right. Which the word Lucifer just means light bearer. OK, or let me say Satan. You know, they're, they're a bunch of Satanists. OK, they're a bunch of Satanists, man. OK. Personally, 
children are not there to for you to brainwash into what your personal opinions are of what makes good relationships just because it's real life Do you know right what I mean? right so so what what was she saying that's actually wrong okay children are not there to be brainwashed in what you believe right you you know your warped ways of society where you believe that it's right for a man and a man to be spooning under the bed sheets all night while the child is having, you know, being traumatized next door, hearing two men grunting. That's the, that's not really that's not the that's not the way of life, man. That's not the way of the scriptures. Okay? And 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 my child is not to be put in schools for your, you know, your teachers to be forcing a curriculum on them, which is gonna, you know, which could put demons on them. To the point where they come home and they're trying to try on their mom's dress or high heels, or talking about they like taking it up the up the ass. And I'm sorry, man, this, this, this ain't right. And the thing is, right, what, what you got to understand is what does homosexuality promote? Death. It doesn't promote life. OK, because there's nothing uh, 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 beneficial for your health about sticking your rod up another man's arsehole, man. OK, there's nothing healthy about that. That is uh, an act of sodomy. And you know what the Lord did uh, to the, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. And you see how they've taken behind this Jake woman's head. They've taken the Lord's uh, uh, rainbow, right? The bowl that he set in the clouds that he made with a co uh, 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 as a covenant with the earth that he ain't going to flood it anymore. All right? With water. All right? They've taken that bowl in the cloud and they've made it such a lewd movement, man. They've uh, associated it with such a lewd movement. All right? With acts of sodomy. And that is... That is uh, uh, Basically, that's a, an abomination, according to the Bible, man. Live in such a diverse nation, uh, in, in our towns and in our villages, that the, the, the school is going to be able to give such a great representation of that, potentially more than you could? No, no, not at all. I... No. So what he's saying is basically, let the state raise your children and put demons on them, because... You know, they can do it better than you can because you, you know, you by by you reading the scriptures and reading the Bible and teaching your child right from wrong from such a young age. And, and I'll have you know that children at such a young age are so impressionable. Their brains are like sponges. So when you start pushing uh, uh, two dads and two mums in a household, raising Tommy and raising Timmy, when you start pushing that from such a what do you think is going to happen to that child as they grow older? Then they start to accept it. And then all of a sudden, you now uh, you've you've blurred the lines between a heterosexual relationship, and now everyone can just do what the fuck they want to do. Now everyone is like in that do as thou wilt vibration. As long as it feels good, just do it. And that is not the way that some of us choose to raise our children in this place, man. This godforsaken place. Okay, I'm sorry, but you cannot push these curriculums on our children. We don't want them, man. We don't want it on our children, man. OK, the elect are not going to stand for this. All right. The, 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 the elect of the Hebrew Israelites are not going to stand for such a movement. They're not going to they're not going to fold. OK, they're going to follow the lamb, which is Yahweh Shire, which is the, what the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. They're going to follow him whithersoever he goeth. And Yahweh Shire went out there. The one at the world called Jesus went out there preaching that everyone has to accept man and man and woman and woman. He weren't teaching that. So when you try and put that on my child, now you're pushing, you're, you're basically offending me and my household now. Now we have a problem. I know my child. I know what my child is capable of. Why would it, a school's opinion be more than mine? I'm not saying that I would go... Brilliant. That was a brilliant point. Why would a school's opinion be more... So basically you're saying you can teach my, my child better than I can raise... Did not did the hold on a minute... It takes a man and a woman to raise a child. It's that man and that woman's responsibility to raise that child. It's not your responsibility. And that's why hey, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, they always pre uh, uh, tell you your children are not really your children. They belong to the state because we're in slavery. OK. And when we was on them plantations, our children did not belong to us. Our children were out there on them cotton fields picking cotton alongside with us. OK, and what you got to understand is we went into slavery because we didn't adhere to the laws and the statutes and the commandments of the heavenly father. And that's why we went into captivity and we're still into captivity this, to this day. And that's why our children do not belong to us. OK, but you got certain people that want to stay in the society, man, and think it's cool. Hey, well, the Lord is going to show you that it ain't cool. OK, when he destroys it.
Uh, but my child will grow up with that understanding. So people, you know, ask, well, what would you do? What would you do? But at the same time, if you've been brought up like me, like my husband, like our family, we'll bring it back a bit. Tell that they would be in an environment where that, people will still show sorry, the love. And... I think you said that there was right and wrong, and you think that a, a heterosexual relationship is right and a gay relationship is wrong. That's your that's your beliefs. That's your that's your religious beliefs. Right. Okay. So your um, children are going to pick up on that. That, aren't that is is that not homophobic? No, it's not homophobic. Okay. It's you see, you see, and, I'm, and because she's basically, you know, she's she's speaking about she's a Christian and she reads the Bible and she teaches her children right from wrong. Basically, what they're trying to do is outlaw the scriptures. OK, and the famine of the word is coming, brothers, man. All right. The time when, you know, the time's coming when there's going to be martial law out there on the streets and there's going to be curfews on the streets. There's going to be tanks in the streets. All right. Where there used to be a red bus or where there used to be a, you know, your neighbor's car. There's going to be a tank in that spot. And then when that happens, you think that we're going to be out there on the highways and the Bible is still teaching this word? No. OK, because they're trying to outlaw the scriptures. All right. And they're saying, look, let me take it back. What did he say? What did he say? Right. And a gay relationship is wrong. That's your that's your beliefs. That's your that's your religious beliefs. Right. Right. So now they're trying to attack her beliefs. Now it's not even a thing about oh, the curriculum anymore. It's not even about the curriculum. What they want to do is is they want a society which completely contradicts what the Bible says. OK, because Esau is the devil. He doesn't want. Look, man, he takes the words, every bit of word that's written in the scriptures. He takes it and he casts it behind him. He's not about righteousness. Okay, so your I'm, children are going to pick up on that. that, that is, is that not homophobic? Mm. No, it's not homophobic. Okay. It's, it's, it's centering our beliefs on the relationship of a male and female. That's how our children came into this world. That's how all the children come into this world. So, no, it's not homophobic. It's just there you go. And so basically what and you can get that in the scriptures. OK, male and female. All right. And, the re and I, you know, I do videos on this because, you know, something, man, I, I, you know, I can't stand this, this sort of stuff, man. OK, I can't stand this sort of stuff. This stuff needs to get cursed out, man. OK, this is Genesis 1 and 27. It says, so the Most High created, uh, created man in his own image and in the image of the Most High created he him. Male and female created he them. OK. Male and female. Why? Because a male and a female can bring forth life. Okay? You do away with all these science lab and these test tube babies and all of that. What do you think would happen to society if everyone was a homosexual? That, that alone should tell you that goes against the natural order of things. That is not normal. Okay? And the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? This is what these people don't understand. And it was set up for an example, man. Okay? This is Genesis 19... Um, I'm going to start from the top. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them. And he bowed, them, bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house. Tarry all night, wash your feet, and you shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him. All right, so Lot... Basically received them in as guests, the two angels that came to him. All right. And he pressed upon them and he, he said, look, you got to stay with me. All right. And they turned in, in unto him and entered into his house and made and he made them a feast. And he did bake unleavened bread and they did eat. All right. And that's the spirit that he baked unleavened bread because we're in a time we're in a feast of unleavened bread right now. All right. And that's hey, that's that's the spirit, man. All right. You know, we just had the Passover, man. OK, when, when the Lord was passing over. Right. All the Israelites homes, the Hebrew Israelites that had the blood of the lamb painted on their on their on the doorpost, man. But as for everybody else, they got taken out. All right. Their firstborn and their firstborn of their cattle, man. All right. And it was a great cry in Egypt, like the scripture says. And that same kind of death and destruction is coming again. But the time of Daniel 12 and 1, it said it's going to be a time like no other since there was a nation. Now, you got America that's legalizing homosexuality. Across all states in America, what do you think the Lord is going to do to such a to such a city, man? He's going to destroy it worse than he did with Sodom and Gomorrah because he said he destroyed it as an example. We're going to get that scripture, okay? So he baked the unleavened bread and they did eat, but before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young. All the people from every quarter. And that's exactly the spirit of these last days, man. 
both old and young. And that's why they're trying to force this LGBT curriculum on the children as young as four, both old and young. When you go to them gay parades or when you see them or, or you know, you, you see, look at clips on YouTube and you see them marching down the cities and whatever and they hold the rainbow flags and they've, you know, they've got the face paint on and all of that. And their ch and their children are uh, are dressed like very pr provocative, which is which is nothing but pedophilia. All right, promoting pe uh, pedophilia. Okay, when you see all of that happening, all right, that ain't nothing but them spirits of old coming back because it's both old and young, and you got uh, parents. All right, you could have two dads, right, holding their their uh, 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 the child that they're looking after upon their shoulders with face paint on him, right, and they're walking down and marching. In these great numbers, man. So it's the same spirit that was in Genesis 19 is back here today. All right. Like the scripture says, there's nothing new under the sun. All right. And all the people from every quarter. Okay. So that's the same spirit. And you can read the rest of your story for, you, for yourself when you hear about what the Lord done to Sodom and Gomorrah, man. And it wasn't, a, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a light thing. The Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Uh, where is it? Peter's. I think it's Second Peter's chapter two. Maybe. Yep, right. This is Second Peter's chapter two, verse um, five. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an ensample. Unto those that after should live ungodly. So the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, right, made Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them that were living in like manner and condemned them with ashes, man. He burnt Sodom and Gomorrah to a crisp. And he told Lot via the angels, he said, Look, take your family and don't look back. All right. So Lot left with his two daughters and his woman, but his woman looked back and she got turned. What happened to her? She was, uh, she was warned, but she got turned into a pillar of salt. All right. So what you got to understand is the Lord is going to destroy America in in a worse way, okay, than uh, uh, than Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. In fact, there was more on that. Let me go back to that. Second Peter two, yeah, and uh, verse seven, and delivered just Lot. So Lot really represents the elect in these last days, because the same way that Lot was delivered is the same way that the elect are going to be delivered in these last days. It says vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, and this is nothing but filthy conversation. Okay, this is nothing but filthy conversation. Life. I just However, I want to but know. my child will grow up with you know, our culture is all teaching. It's not all. I just want to know. I think one one thing we need to do as well is, and we we've touched on it a little bit, is we need to stop associating your sexuality with sex. Because I want to know what you're so scared of. Because we are. You come into my house. What's so? What do you think goes on in my house with two dads and a son? I we are wiping know, bars, we're wiping tears, we're waking business. up in the middle of the night, we've got Cheerios all over the but floor, we are, we are just a normal family. But it's not my, I'm not just, I'm Mate, you can look at someone that has a job as a cleaner, he's he's wiping up shit off the floor, he's picking up shit, he's taking out trash cans, what's your point? Alright, and you, you making a point of what are you so scared of, no, what are you scared of, man? What are you scared of, because you, look man, the way that you're living, right, is not right according to the scriptures, and you're getting cut. Taking that away from you, what I feel like you're taking away from me is I, I'm not trading on your rights. You are still able to be a dad. You're still able to yeah. live your family. Well, I want to know why you're trading on my life. I want to know what you're so scared of. I've said to you, there is no public not crisis. Scared at all. So why do you feel you need to push this? If you are able to We're not to pushing leave, things. We're not well, pushing you are, things. We're educating it's, it's on society. Agenda. There's this no this agenda. agenda. No agenda. It we just of want to. It's society. Money. It's society. If you use taxpayers' money to force something in a school, that's an agenda right so so she's cutting this guy right she's saying no you have got an agenda and really it's the elite's agenda right really it's esau's agenda because esau is a homosexual and a, fe a pedophile by nature remember the scripture says uh, that the spirit that's in him that that's lifted up in him is not upright in him that's in habakkuk 2 and 4 all right so everything that that's righteous esau is about wickedness he goes opposite to that man all right and what she made a good point she said yeah you are pushing an agenda okay and not only that you're pushing against on my rights. You're scared. What are you scared of? Why are you pushing me and forcing me and my household to believe that the way that you live is the right way of life? Why are you doing that? You shouldn't have the right to do that. And so she's making a good point, man. All right.
you call it an the yeah. government has called it an action plan. It's an agenda because you're using. Ah, uh, you see, the government. Hey, hey, and apostles always bring this out. The word govern uh, government uh, 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 means mind control. Okay, all right. Meant a uh, govern meaning to control and meant meaning mind. Right, govern, uh, control the mind, and this is what the elites are doing. They're controlling the minds of the people. All right. In fact, let's get that uh, preset, man. Uh, what is this? Sirach, the tenth chapter, I believe. Okay, because the hey man, hey, the vibration of Esau is pushed out throughout all the world. Okay, this is uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiasticus. All right, uh, ten and one. A wise judge will instruct his people. And the government, all right, of a prudent man is well ordered, all right? Now, order is having a man and woman. Order is having the Most High, Yahweh Shai, then man, then woman, all right? And, and I'm talking about the Israelite order, all right? They, this book, because this book is only for the Hebrew Israelites, man. It ain't for these other nations. The Hebrew Israelite Israelites were supposed to govern the world with these laws, and we will, all right? In the kingdom, when the laws are going to be written on our inward parts, and we're going to be perfect, man. We're going to be keeping the laws perfectly, and there ain't going to be no more gay pride marches, man. All right, and especially over there in T Tel Aviv, where they're polluting our land, man. All right, where where they hold some of the biggest gay parades on the on the earth. All right, so you know that they ain't the people of the Lord. All right, because they're directly breaking the commandments of the Lord by actually holding them gay pride parades, man. It says, and the judge of a people, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of this city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And that's why they decree them unrighteous decrees. That's why they're making these agendas. That's why they're pushing on our rights. All right. Because when you want to come with the scriptures, Esau don't like that because it goes directly against what he wants. All right. His agenda. He wants chaos. He wants death. He wants uproars of the people. He wants disaster. He wants pain. He wants poison. All right. And that's why he's got floating islands of plastic out there. That's why everyone's dropping dead left, right and center from cancer. Because what he feeds us, what he uh, teaches our children, what how he uh, the legislations he pushes and all of this, all of these bills and all of that. That is his way of life. And it's not the ways of the scriptures and everything that's outside of the scriptures promotes death, not life. All right. The spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah is back here in these last days, guys. And if you think this is a joke. Hey, man, you, you watch, man. Look how much rights they've got already. These LGBT community guys, they've got so much rights. And they're pushing and pushing and pushing even for more, man. The transgenders, transphobia now, homo, uh, ho uh, homophobia and all of that. All right. Hate speech and hate crime. They're trying to outlaw freedom of speech. They want you to live like they want you to live. All right. No questions asked. OK, and I'm going to get one more scripture because this has gone on a, a little bit longer than I expected. But that's the spirit. Um, and I'm going to just close it out on Jude. One and seven. In fact, yeah, Jude one and seven. I'm going to get one more. Jude one and seven. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So what you got to understand is that was an example. That destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah uh, was an example. And if you don't, you know, if you didn't take heed to that, then you're going to be caught out there in this destruction, man. All right. And these nuclear missiles, they ain't no joke, man. They're going to make the earth rock to and fro like a drunkard. And there's going to be a lot of people that were down with the rainbow flags and the LGBT gay pride marches that are going to be basking in them flames and the missiles hit, man. OK, Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Their blood shall be upon them. It is your own fault. And when the Lord takes you out and he judges you for that act, it's your own fault because you were a sodomite. You were doing that stuff. That weren't the natural ways that the Bible speak uh, spoke of. You actually uh, are in violation of the scriptures. Therefore, you will be taken out. OK, we ain't forcing this right now. OK, because all things are lawful, but not expedient. But in the kingdom, these laws are going to be they are perfect and they're going to be enforced wholeheartedly in the kingdom. According to the new covenant, when the laws are on the inward parts of the Hebrew Israelites and we're going to be ruling earth in a righteousness and wickedness is going to be put out forever. All right. So with that, Lord willing, you are Kim, we're edified. And I'm going to close this out, man. Shalom.